What's up, you bikers? This is the Espen Nesta, a 20 by 4 inch fat tire. We'll review it next, coming up on the channel. So welcome to the channel. If you uh, haven't seen my uh, videos before, I'm an e-bike enthusiast who does uh, rides and reviews. And uh, uh, hit that like button and subscribe button for more videos just like this. Got more e-bikes coming for you in the uh, coming weeks and months. So this is the Nesta. It's my second Espin bike that they sent me uh, for review. So I did uh, not pay for this bike, but uh, it doesn't matter because it's a great bike, guys. Um, just love the power and uh, comfort and stability that this bike offers me. Now. Um, let me give you some of the specs to start off with. So uh, it's again a folding fat tire e-bike, folds right in the middle, I'll show you through that later. It's got a 10.4 uh, amp hour battery right here. That's really accessible. And the controller's right down here in the box. You can also get pretty easy access to. Um, 20 by four inch fat tires as I mentioned. Uh, 750 watt motor in the rear hub there. Uh, and a really good power, 85 newton meters of torque. So this thing gets off the line quick uh, with a lot of oomph. And uh, I really appreciate that in any e-bike I have. You know, one of the reasons I want more power out of my e-bikes is like crossing the streets. I have a main street right up here that I have to cross to do a lot of my rides. And um, I love that extra power when you're crossing the street on the throttle. It just makes uh, me much more uh, confident and, and safer too, since I get across the street quicker. So uh, it's, uh, it's good news for you e-bikers out there. Espen says why you'll love this bike is that uh, it's, it's foldable if it's your lifestyle, which is definitely true. It's compact, step through frame, easy mounting on and off. You saw me get off on the, uh, the opener there. Um, when you stop this bike, it's really easy to swing your legs over and hop off it. Um, it's, uh, it's got a, a really low center of gravity here, and um, I like it. It's actually a pretty manly looking step through, in my opinion, especially with that glacier blue color. It's kind of a, a matte blue, very silky looking blue. Also comes in smoke gray. So uh, I may, may like that uh, color as well, but I love this glacier blue. Uh, it's my favorite paint color so far I've seen on an e-bike. Um, it just really uh, has, a, has a good you know, manly tone to it, and uh, I just love the look of it overall. Uh, not a whole lot of branding on the e-bike, which I like, just the Espen name. Uh, no, no flashy colors or anything. Um, Zoom hydraulic brakes, 180 millimeter rotors. It's a class three e-bike. It's got S-Ride shifters. Um, Range says 20 to 40 miles. So uh, I'm gonna put that to the test because I think it was e-bike report reviewed this and they said they got 69 miles on PAS-1, which to me is incredible for a 10.5 amp hour battery. Uh, they got, I think, 29 uh, on PAS-5. So I'm gonna put that to the test and uh, do a range test for you in the coming weeks. Seat post is 30.4 millimeters. The bike weighs about 65 pounds. That's with the battery and it's rated for riders at 275, 275 pounds or less. Uh, the minimum saddle height is 33 inches, and it's made with aluminum alloy overall. Really nice looking step through. Uh, there's not a whole lot of step throughs on the market that I like in terms of design and function, but this is my favorite by far. I think uh, you get the rad step through, uh, you got the hay bike ranger, uh, you've got the electric step through, which I don't like um, in terms of design. Um, but this is the best looking step through foldable on the market in my opinion and it's the most powerful as well 750 watt motor 85 newton meters of torque just can't go wrong with a bike like this so to fold this e-bike you just do a couple of things 
start with the handlebars first. It's a nice, uh, uh, it's not as tall a stem as you see on a typical folding e-bike, which I really like because uh, the look of those tall ones are kind of awkward looking, especially on like the electrics. Um, I just don't like that tall stock that they give you with these things, but this is a shorter stock. So from a design perspective, that's really nice. So just, I mean, my camera, uh, phone mount, just push up the button here, pull out and pull down the handlebars like that. Then you're gonna want to uh, fold your pedals. These are the logo pedals, I folded them already. Just push in and flip them up. And then uh, you take the lever here, push it forward, pull it, and fold your e-bike in half. So I don't have a whole lot of complaints about the Nesta. Um, you know, the battery is on the smaller side, it's 10.5. We'll see how much range I get. I'm guessing about 30 to 35 on PS2 and 3. Um, what else? The, uh, there's no uh, percentage on the battery level, it's just bars. And um, you know, that's really about it from uh, just a, a negative standpoint. Um, it's a really great bike and uh, looking forward to, to more riding with it. Just how it fits me, you know, six foot tall. And, uh, to me, this is the perfect size bike for my friend. I barely had to raise the seat Look at the luggage station I'm getting. And, uh, nice upright position. Arms about a slight angle here. And, uh, it fits me really well. So I think anybody who's six foot or taller, this is a good bike for you. Here's a look at the cockpit of the uh, Espen Nesta. You got your uh, PAS modes and power over here, plus minus power mode. You've got your uh, thumb throttle, left side thumb throttle. I don't mind it on the left. I know some people don't, but um, I do prefer thumb throttles overall. Here's your display, pretty simple display. Uh, you just got uh, speed, average speed, and max speed as far as the main uh, menu items there. And then down below on the right, if you hit the power button, you go between trip, time, uh, odometer, and power level. Um, which it's kind of redundant, it seems like. And back to trip. I haven't been able to figure out how to reset the trip odometer. If anybody knows, uh, put a, uh, mention it in the comments. Uh, about uh, 36 miles so far on the bike. I just did about uh, 11 miles and the battery is at three bars at this point. So over on right, we got your S ride shifter here, eight speeds. Um, here's your down uh, shifter, your up shifter is underneath here, and uh, Tetro brakes. So the grips are locking grips, nice and soft, uh, rubbery, rubber, rubber basically, no issues. I wear gloves, so you know grips don't really matter that much to me. Um, but it's a pretty nice grip, no complaints there. So we're gonna do a hill climb test, speed test, and then uh, take it for a little ride. Right now I'm in PS2, doing about 15. Slightly downhill. I take a corner up here. It's a, it's a throttle. Top speed is 25. Foot hit there. So the pedals are low to the ground, so you gotta watch it around the corners. Excellent power, really speedy bike comfortable too. So I have my, I'm in a very upright position. I've got the uh, suspension seat post on from uh, Ganopper and um, using the original seat so it's uh, pretty comfortable. My hands are in the right position. This bike fits me well. Six foot tall. So 
six foot tall, 175, and uh, it's a very good frame for my, for, for my body. All right, let's do a speed test here. Throttle only. I'd say it's about 10% grade. Do a 14, gaining speed. 14.6, 14.7. Now it's losing speed a bit. Leveling out a bit here. We just like right here, so we're doing 20. Really nice power there. There's another little hill. This thing climbs very, very well. All right, let's go do a speed test. All right, so crossing the street is one of the most dangerous things you can do on these things, so I'm glad it's got awesome pickup here. The 85 newton meters of torque to, to test. It took us a few seconds to get to 20 there. All right, this is our speed test road. It's uh, nice and flat. Hopefully you can tell about that. Uh, let's see here. I'm in PAS 2. Let's uh, knock it up to PAS 5. And uh, let's start speeding. Wow, really good power in the upper levels here. 24, 725. Yeah, that's the max, 25. PAS2, we're doing about 14 change. Our speed. A mirror down there. It's working pretty well from a visibility standpoint. Let's see the car's coming. This bike has a nice tall stance to it, so I think uh, it's great for tall riders and short riders. Uh, the handlebars, I think, about 40 inches high. They're a little bit. They're definitely higher than electrics, um, probably by, by a couple of inches. And um, I do think that smaller riders and taller riders will benefit from using this bike. All right, hydraulic brakes on this uh, Nesta. I'm on a really steep hill right now. I'm 21, and uh, here's the brakes. Watch this. Stop here. That was a tough one. They uh, really good brakes, nice and tight, and uh, no complaints there. Gonna hit the park. Get that off roading and uh, get you some nice shots. And it's a very comfortable, comfortable bike, also very stable. No hands. It's a little windy today, but. Definitely very stable. I, I miss these, you know what, after riding electric for uh, three or four months now, the 2.0, with the three inch tires, I kind of I kind of miss the four inch now that I have, now that I have it again. Um, and so, uh, yeah. I'm supposed to dismount. But...
tackles this uh, gravelly road pretty well. I think I'll think it's pebbles. the uh, meadow down if you remember on my last group ride this was all like six foot tall grass So hope you enjoyed that. It's a review of the Nesta Espen 20 by 4 inch fat tire bike. I'll put a link in the description to Espen itself. I do make a small commission if you buy these bikes. Uh, but you also save 50 bucks as well. So they are having a sale right now. This e-bike is on sale for $13.29. That's about uh, over, over $200 off. I believe it's normally around $15.29 or even $15.99. So it's a great deal. And uh, to show you where I put my money where my mouth is, I sold my electric XP. And uh, I'm keeping this bike instead as my daily driver. So I'm uh, going to put a second battery on it this winter. Uh, kind of extend the range. And uh, I just love the fit and finish of an Espen Nesta. So uh, definitely check it out if you are in the market. Mm -hmm.